Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to continue with data structures and algorithms and uh, we had uh, covered up a, a recursion, a couple of problems we tried to understand so that we can build up the concept of recursion. So some of natural numbers and word break problem we had already covered up. Okay, so today we are going to uh, do one more problem which is Fibonacci series. I think if this is a very common problem and uh, if you are a computer graduate then uh, I think uh, this is one of the basic problems in the initial uh, stages when we study recursion this is one of the common problems that we start with all right and uh, let me tell you this as well from my past experience uh, as well i would like to share that uh, uh, i was asked this question even in interviews i was asked to write a program of a fibonacci series okay so from interview perspective also and this i'm saying not not i think uh, maybe a couple of companies two three i'm not sure i don't remember it uh, but yeah this was asked as well so because this is uh, this the basics if you are good at your basics then uh, then you can be asked more complex problems but this is uh, something which you must be aware of and that is why we are covering up this problem today as well so that we know that okay how this can be done okay we are 100 we want to be 100 percent confident okay so fibonacci series let's get started we i hope you are aware what is fibonacci series so first term is one first term is zero and the second term is one in this series now this series works upon the basis of your sum of the previous two terms and the next term will be the sum of previous two terms okay so previous two terms sum is one here now previous two terms sum is 2 similarly 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3 similarly 5 similarly 8 13 21 and uh, 34 and so on okay so this is what we know as fibonacci series and uh, we can so uh, today what we want we want a program which can print us this series let's say if i say print me the first 10 terms of this series so we want that program okay and uh, we can see here one point to note here is in this series is first term is zero second term is one the actual summation part is beginning from the third term in the series so this one is the sum of zero and one this two is the sum of one and one okay so the third term is the one where the summation logic is actually starting up so if i want if i let's say uh, i say print the first two terms so you can print simply zero and one okay so let's try to create a program first uh, we'll try to do it with without recursion so that uh, we understand it thoroughly and uh, then we'll uh, like the previous problem uh, we'll do it with recursion okay so let's create a function simple print series and let's accept a variable let's say int n so if we want to print five terms let's say so we have to iterate right we have to do some kind of iteration and wherever is iteration there is a loop all right so before we i write a loop here two more things we want to see now let's consider this third term so the third term is the sum of this last and last to last okay so let's consider this five so five is sum of three and two so three let's call it last two let's call it last to last so at every point we want to compute the sum of last and last to last term okay this is the logic and we know that this like i said uh, previously also that this summation logic 
will begin from the third term itself okay so let's let me write some code here so that we can understand better so for loop int i equals to 1 and i less than equals to n okay now for the first term right for i equals equals 1 we know that uh, it is going to be it is going to be what zero right so let's have some variables let's say last to last which is zero because we know for the third term we want the sum of this zero and one okay so zero will be last to last and one will be last okay so we can have two variables okay so if i is one we just have to print the value of last to last okay i'm using print so that we can get the series in the same line and continue okay similarly if i is two We can simply write here print mean the value of last okay and continue now what if i is i becomes three so we just have to compute the sum of last and last to last and print that sum right so let's call it sum well, let's define a variable here in sum equals zero so we want to compute the sum of last and last to last and print that okay so suppose n is three so three is going to be sum of last which is one some last to last which is zero so zero plus one is going to print us one now when we go to n equal to four here so we want the sum of these two and so now we have to do whatever is the value of sum because that is going to become my last right okay and uh, what will be last to last last to last will be whatever was the value of last time so we should put here before this line so we are saving the value of last in last to last and current sum in last so in the next iteration we just compute the sum again and then print it simple okay for example here for computing the sum of 5 this will be last this will be last to last so it will be 5 so the next iteration this sum value we are assigning to last you can see here all right and before the value is assigned to last we are saving it in another variable which is last to last simple so I hope uh, I could clarify you and uh, let's try to just invoke the method print series let's say 10 okay let's try to execute so we have 0 1 right so this is 0 and 1 now 1 2 3 5 8 right this is the series that we wanted to print 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 13 21 okay so this is how we can do it uh, with the help of uh, a for loop and it is not using any kind of recursion okay so now with recursion if i say or if you are asked to do the same thing with recursion so what is that part which you are computing at every step we are computing the sum 
of the previous two so if i write a method which can give me this thing at every uh, at every you can say at every step then we are sorted right so at every step i'll just invoke that method which will return me the sum of the previous two so then we are done so let's write some method which will return us the sum of previous two right now if i say n is zero so we know that the sum is going to be zero so we can simply write return zero if we uh, and we know n is one so we have to simply return one okay now if n is two so we have to now compute the sum of previous two so what we can do return the sum of n minus one and sum of n minus two sum of previous two terms right So this we can do it with the help of recursion now if n is 0 we are returning 0 if n is 1 we are returning 1 we can move it or we can write it this way if n is less than equals to 1 return n so that if n is uh, 0 it will return 0 if n is 1 it will return 1 so both these if conditions we can replace it with the help of this so consider uh, here let's say n is 3 so n is 3 will be sum of 3 minus 1 which is 2 sum of 3 minus 2 which is 1 so get me the sum of sum of 2 and sum of 1 so sum of 2 will then be replaced by I'm just writing here just for understanding so sum of 2 here because 2 is this condition will be evaluated to false so 2 will be sum of 1 and sum of 2 minus 2 which is 0 so sum of 1 will be returned as 1 and sum of 0 will be returned as 0 so this will be evaluated to 1 okay this will be evaluated to 1 and sum of 1 will be evaluated to 1 okay so for n equal to 3 now we know that sum will be 2 okay so let's remove these commented lines So I have to just call this method for int i equals 0 we have to start from 0 so that we can because print the first digit which is 0 so i less than equals to let's say 10 i plus plus and we can just write this out let's print in same line get me the sum of i and so this is let's make it static method so that we can call it directly so sum of 0 0 sum of 1 1 so let's quickly run it so 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 so all these things we can now compute with the help of recursion okay because at every step now how why was this possible because every step we want to compute the sum of previous two and this previous we had already computed so this is the idea of using this method separate method for computation of the sum at every step 
okay so I, I hope uh, i could clarify you that with recursion how we can do this so this same thing can we can do it or we can ask it in this terms uh, tell me the sum up to let's say 10 terms sum of five terms first five terms of fibonacci series sum of first three terms of fibonacci series because here you can see we are computing the sum only right and we are printing the sum so this is the sum of let's say here sum of first four terms right sum up to four terms is or sum zero plus one plus one is two right so every time we are computing the sum so we can also be asked in this manner cool so that's it for today i just hope that uh, you got the idea of fibonacci series and uh, you will now be able to do it with recursion without recursion whatever way anyone asks you okay so that's it for today see you next time good night bye bye